Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I am here to do the monthly reading for the Zodiac Sign of Taurus for this month of August, year 2020. So if you're new to my channel, welcome and blessing. Welcome all the Tauruses and cross watchers. If you are, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my returning viewers, watchers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I wish you blessings and thank you so much again for being here with me. God bless each and every one of you. So I was just recording and I was cut off. So I got to make another video. So I already have your spread here. Okay. If you would like a life coaching session or tarot card reading, I am available through text and phone. My email information is in the description box. All of my card decks are there as well. So yes, I'm available. If you're interested with pricing and everything is there, please do not get hung up on genders and Please know that I don't really call out signs that often. It's very rare. This is for the sign of Taurus. I, I mostly focus on whatever sign that I'm reading for. Okay, which right now it is Taurus. You're the last of my earth signs for tonight. So all the other earth signs, the Capricorn and Virgo are posted. I do not know which element or sign I'm going to next, but I am going to keep it moving. I'm doing something that I have not done yet. Usually I have all my decks and I shuffle them on camera and that's cool too. The only deck I'm shuffling on camera today is this one. This is the angel's answers. Okay. Cause I know we all like a little bit of shuffling, I think, or most of us do, but I have already shuffled, prayed upon and meditated upon all the card decks. My oceanic tarot deck is my baby. You guys know I am doing a Celtic or Celtic cross. I think it's Celtic for tarot, Celtic cross. Usually I do my star of the sea. I'm doing a Celtic cross today. It's a 10 card spread which I already have out. I only got to one card so far and the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to review that because I was cut off in my last video because I forgot to put on airplane mode and got a call and it cuts off, unfortunately. But anyways, all your other cards have been, like I said, shuffled and these are the messages that came out for you, Taurus. So I am going to read them as such. So let's just jump right in. If you like the video and you like what I'm doing or saying, if the video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe and comment. I do read the comments and I appreciate all the cool messages and the support. And I also take um, suggestions. I'm always open to different suggestions. Last week I did empowerment messages and I think they went really well. I think people really enjoyed them. And I think sometimes we need to just get back to mind, body and soul. But this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. And this is your monthly reading. So I'm digging into like career, romance. Um, just everything, okay? Messages from spirit, just what's going on right now, what's next for you, what's in your past, what's fears, all of it. So uh, you get the whole enchilada. Okay, let's begin, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands, which is amazing because you are working with unconventional people. You're venturing out now, Taurus, to work with people you normally would not work with. Not just people, but places. So... A lot of you may be traveling for work or you just may be traveling for adventure, but you're going somewhere you usually don't go or you're going to go somewhere you do go and meet somebody that you normally wouldn't talk to or converse with. It's time to get out of your bubble and out of your shell and actually start networking and working with people who bring something unusual or something different, something innovative to the table. So a lot of you I'm hearing are entrepreneurs or aspiring to be. So you're working on building a business um, building something from the ground up and you need ideas, you need support, you need help, you need to ask questions and, you know, get your business cards together and give them out and receive them. And I just feel like you're going to really enjoy this process. So it's different and unusual, but you usually take charge, Taurus, so you're going to enjoy this. Okay, so what's going on with you right now? Taurus, you have the five of wands. So you feel like somebody's in competition with you or you have to be in competition with others. This could involve your love life. I'm mostly getting this is at work. It could be in the family as well. You may have to compete to be heard or nobody listens to you. You can't get your point across. Whatever it is, I don't feel like anybody can compete with you. You are in competition with yourself. You just have to make sure, Taurus, that you say your words clearly and that you stand behind what you're saying. Don't backtrack if that's how you really feel. So be clear, be to the point, and be honest about how you're feeling. 
but do it with um, class, you know, be sophisticated, do it with respect and be clear so people can truly understand you and what you're saying. Okay. <clears throat> there could be some jealousy or envy coming towards your way, or you may already know some people feel that way about you. Don't worry about them here and dust it off. Okay. Because you're too focused right now and you should be on what's coming in for you. What's helping you or crossing you is the page of cups. I love it. People definitely want to work with you. They're loving your energy. There's something about you that's very like, I don't know why this word just keeps popping up in my head today, but vivacious. You're ready to laugh and just have a good time. So do not let any naysayers or negative people or anybody on a low vibration try to bring you down. I see you flirting, having a good time. You are the life of the party right now. I'm seeing you having a great time and enjoying other people's company. I'm seeing some date nights out. I'm seeing, you know, going out to lunch and just being beautiful, being playful, enjoying good energy, being very creative and just using your imagination and just having fun. And that's what you should be doing. Okay. The best that you can expect from the situation that's been plaguing you or in your head is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I felt this. You're about to be asked out on a date. Okay. And this person looks gorgeous. They may even have some tattoos or some type of body art or something to that sort. They like to take care of themselves. So either they spend a lot of time in the gym or they just like working out at home or they just have a body type that you really find attractive and they find you very attractive as well. This person is super charming and they're really good with their words. They know how to give a compliment. Okay. They're going to give many, many, many. And I see you having a great time with this person. Okay. They are very serious about you. They don't just want to date. They want a commitment. They want something that's going to the next level. And, you know, they could be very young at heart. I see a lot of playful energy here. I see you going out, having some drinks, um, eating some good food, just enjoying yourself. And some of you are actually going to get a marriage proposal. Um, I just want you to know that it's important to know that this person really does mean what they're saying. And I'm getting they really are an honest person. They just don't always follow through what they're saying. So with this person, you need to make sure that their patterns and actions align well with your conversations, with their words, with their promises. Okay. Make sure everything adds up because they really do know what they mean, but sometimes they say things too quick or they move too fast. They move ahead of their words. So they need to be balanced. And a lot of them are is what I'm hearing. So that's the cool thing. But don't let the good looks and the beautiful hair and the gorgeous body and, you know, the attractiveness be so alluring to where you're not looking at the core values. You're not looking at traditions and beliefs and, you know, how are they raised and what are they like with around their friends and their family and what's their dating life like and, you know, what are their views on dating? So pay attention to that. But I do see you being asked out on a date and I do see you saying yes. Only do what feels right for you, Taurus. If you had a question, um, which, you know, you may not have had a question, but if you have one, I will give you five seconds to come up with one. This will be the answer to your question. This is number four. Okay, so whichever question you're focusing on, this is your answer. Six of Pentacles. I'm getting that's a yes, Taurus. You're about to get a gift and it's because you've given gifts and you may give some more gifts. So either, even if it's just like you gave a homeless person $10 or you gave a person a ride to the store, you brought food back for your family or you bought some groceries or you made something really special for somebody in your life. You celebrate somebody's birthday by being creative. I don't know. Whatever you've given, I feel like that good karma is about to return back to you. Karma returns. Good karma. So you're about to get some cool gifts. Some of it could be money, honey. Yes. So Taurus, enjoy this and just know to receive anything you get from $5 to $5,000, whatever it is that you get, receive it with gratitude and, and thanks, you know, just be very thankful and whatever you do give, um, do it from the heart and just be uh, very sensitive about what you give and just, you know, sensitive to other people's feelings. You know, hoping that they will enjoy it and just you enjoy whatever you get. And if you don't like a gift, you know, always be respectful about it. Somebody gave it to you from the kindness of their hearts. They had good thoughts and intentions behind it. So just be very positive. But this is generosity, giving and receiving. So go ahead and enjoy this. 
And this is beautiful. You deserve it is what I'm hearing. What's in your future Taurus is the Page of Swords. So this is the gossip card. Somebody definitely has been talking about you. Like I said, I see some jealousy and some envy around you. You're, you're the talk of the town is what I'm hearing because you are shining. You are elevating is what I'm hearing. So there are some haters, but we look past them. Okay, you're taking the high moral ground. And once again, you need to say your words very clearly so that you're not misunderstood because I feel like somebody might try to trick up your words. So if you don't have to talk to people, text them or send them an email. Make sure you spell everything right. Make sure you say everything right the way you want it to be received. Because if not, somebody might try to twist you up and you can go, oh, well, here's the text. Oh, here's my receipts. So have your receipts because they won't be able to trick you up. And as far as this petty, immature energy that they're on, you are looking so past them. You're dusting them off your shoulder like, you know, a little dust bunny. You're not tripping off them as you shouldn't be. Don't worry about any nonsense and negativity. Some of you actually need to focus on a court matter or like some type of important financial documents or some court documents or some type of paperwork needs your attention. It could even be a contract. So pay attention to what's important. Leave the negativity and the immaturity alone. Somebody's just in a low vibration and they're trying to bring you down. They obviously can't. You're just full speed ahead elevating go Taurus go the past or your fears this is the high priest I'm not sh I'm not surprised that he came out I did see him in your pre-messages for some reason I decided not to call pre-messages I wish I'm starting to wish that I had of because I'm seeing a lot of it come back out for the readings that I'm doing but anyways high priest so a lot of you may had fears when it came to marriage or commitment traditions values learning a lesson some of you had a hard time listening to your own intuition and wisdom. So you're wise enough now to do that. Okay. So get out of that energy. Okay. So, or in the past, you didn't listen to yourself. It's time to. Some of you know that you need more education or you need to read more. You need to look up priests online or pastors. You know, a lot of us can't attend church because a lot of them are closed. There are a lot of live streams. You can go on YouTube and different various avenues to still get that word. I love T.D. Jakes. He's one of the pastors that I listen to. Um, there's other reverends and priests that you can find, even if they're old videos. Some of them have new. Some of them have old. Some of them have live. So look them up and stay close to spirit. Don't let anything deter you from your spiritual path. Know that this is the high priest. So this is a very spiritual card. Um, stay close to God and your angels at all time. And just remember that if you need to get education, don't deprive yourself of that. Go for it. A lot of you are getting a lot of spiritual lessons and it's time for them. You will be led to the right teacher or professor, or it could just be somebody in your life who's giving you some awesome advice. Please take it. When it feels right and it's coming from the heart and soul, embrace that. Okay, that's important. Let that wisdom come through. Okay, so how you see yourselves or the action that you could take is the ace of swords you see yourself victorious as you should Taurus I love this energy you know that it's time to make intelligent decisions do not hold back go forward and do what needs to be done I'm hearing a lot of you are standing in your power like you're about to be a powerhouse is what I'm hearing I need to be taking notes because this helps me to remember what to write whenever I am formulating a title so don't mind me if I take a few seconds in a minute okay I see major communication coming in for you, Taurus. I feel like you are going to make some incredible, incredible strides forward here. Okay. You're about to be victorious. This is major victory. This is an ace. You are ready to move to that dream house. You're ready to make a huge move and start this business, start this course, start this class. Something major is coming into your life. And all you have to do is basically decide to do it and go forward. Please do. Because when you stand in your power like this, Things are going to be very successful for you in a major way. This is amazing. This is like your breakthrough and you're ready for it. So if you had any doubts, leave that in the past. It cannot get in your way right now. Nothing can. Go forward like you're shining right now. Be the light. Okay. What's happening in your environment with your family, friends, and those around you is the five of swords. So there could be some conflict here. Okay. Like I said, you may not be heard. Maybe family is not listening to you. Maybe friends are not hearing you. Maybe people don't see your vision. Maybe people are trying to start drama with you because 
they don't truly wish the best for you. And it's unfortunate, but sometimes we have to see people for who they are. You are going to take the high moral ground. You are going to say what needs to be said. You're going to be assertive, not aggressive. Do not fight with your fists, fight with your words. And do not argue. You don't need to. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and be done. Leave it there. Move forward. Don't stay in that energy. If people come with you with that same conflict, let them know that you've raised your vibration. When they want to talk respectfully, you'll be open. But you need to close the chapter on the nonsense. You are not in a place or phase for anything that is not serving your highest good. It is time to let that go. Okay? So yes, you can say what you need to say and resolve it. But don't spend a lifetime on it. Don't stay in that energy to where it drains you or brings you down or deters you from your purpose or your strides. Because like I said, I see you making strides going forward, not backwards. And a lot of people see that. And that's why you have competition coming, envy and jealousy and negativity. We are not staying in that place. Let them talk. You're going to walk the walk. You're going to get done what needs to get done. And you're going to do it with finesse. Okay. So... Hopes and or fears. This is the justice card. You're hoping for balance. So if you are dealing with a court case, I do see it working out in your favor. Your judge may be a feminine energy or a female. This woman could be a masculine with feminine energy. Who knows? Take it how it resonates for you. For a lot of you, it would be a woman judge or a lawyer who's a woman that's going to help you and support you. You have help. Whoever's making decisions, it could be a boss. Whoever is making decisions over your life right now and in regards to anything that's really significant, could be court proceedings, could be work related, could be, you know, a child support case, whatever it is, it is about to work out in your favor. It's going to be very fair. So if you don't get what you want, which I see a lot of you getting exactly what you want or better, but if it is not, believe me, it is closest to it. Okay. It is the best outcome possible. As long as you are fair, as long as you're righteous. As long as you are doing your part, it's going to come back to you. I see good karma coming back to you. Okay? So, stay stay very neutral. Stay very fair. You're going to feel vindicated and restored. So, look forward to fairness and balance coming your way. That looks awesome for you. So, good karma. Beautiful. Outcome. Taurus, you have the vortex so i'm getting a lot of you are dealing with some type of temptation or addiction you need to nip this now and shut it down stand in your power and say no to what this is this could not just be drinking or smoking or terrible eating habits anything that's making you sick over medicating whatever this is this could even be a person you're addicted to so because i do see some Low vibration energy here, like people who are immature or people who like to gossip, people who are who like conflict and drama and arguing. You are not dealing with that nonsense anymore. So you have to break that cycle and now. Because as an outcome, you have the overall message of King of Wands. That's the energy you need to be in. But you also have your regular outcome, which is just under the overall as temptation some of you are addicted to gambling my hand is itching so money's coming to somebody make sure you spend it spend it wisely pray to god it's me too but spend your money wisely invest wisely do not go gamble your money away invest it go get your kids a college plan go save for a rainy day find out what do you need to have done to your house or what do you need for your car and go get it okay you can stand in your power and break any habit and any addiction. If it's a person that is no longer serving your highest good, you know they're toxic for you, it is time to say sayonara, let go, goodbye, best wishes, good luck, it's over, adios. Do what's best for you. Okay? I'm getting whatever it is, you are strong enough to overcome it. And there's no reason why you can't stand in your strength and courage. You have blessings on blessings coming. You're going to be victorious, but it's up to you to make that intelligent decision and decisions. Okay. All right. Let's look into the other decks and I will call them out based on the cards that I have picked based on. Well, I didn't pick them. They came out, but um, 
I'm placing them in certain orders for certain reasons, whatever I'm feeling to where they, where they should be placed. So let's see. And if I don't call out a deck, please look at the description box. All of my decks are there. I'm just trying to see what the narrative and the storyline is here. Okay. So we have some love stuff. Okay. Okay. And remember, the only deck that I am going to shuffle is this one. Angel's Answers. Okay, so from the Magical Times Empowerment deck, you all have Quest. So Taurus, you're on a whole new journey and a path. It says, be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. It is time to go forward and be strong. It is going to work out for you when you overcome difficult obstacles. It is time to break habits. Break temptations. Okay. From the love and light deck. It says leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. If you don't know my love and light deck has scriptures directly from the Bible. So from Palms chapter 104, verse 24, it says, O oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. So as you walk your path, and the word wisdom keeps coming back for you, Taurus, you have to be wiser this time, okay? It says, leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. You need to leave memories with your friends and family and co-workers and jobs and places of employment wherever you go you want to leave a trail that can be remembered in high in positive light